So what do you get when you cross a thought and a light bulb? That's right, a bright idea. Hi, it's Marcy, welcome to my channel. Today, Lola and I are gonna be sharing with you some creative ideas on how to repurpose your old light bulb. Let's head back into the studio and dive right in. For this project, you'll need a light bulb. You'll need to clean out the interior, take a pair of safety glasses, gloves, your light bulb, and you'll need perhaps an awl as well as a little pair of uh, needle nose and I guess another pair of needle nose. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna take and grab safely holding your light bulb like this and grab and take this top part off, okay? Just like that, really super simple. And then you can take your awl or some sharp instrument I'm nestling my light bulb on top of like an old t-shirt or a towel and hitting my awl with my needle nose just to clear this out in here. We're done. For the white stuff, to clean that out, you'll just need a bunch of salt, which is just a table salt, and a little bit of water. Warm water, swirl that around, rinse it out, and wipe it down with rubbing alcohol. This project, I'm using a half inch drill bit, a piece of oak limb that was cut off in my yard, as well as two magnets and the light bulb. What I'm gonna do is drill very carefully. The depth has to be twice the depth of your magnets because we're wanting to hide the magnet so it looks like it's just floating. A bit of hot glue, put that right in. You're going to take your light bulb and position it where you want it to be. But before we do that, I saw this really super cute feather strip that I've had for, I gotta tell you, it must be 10 years now. And I think I'm going to use it for this. The other thing is you could just put it there if you wanted to and not do any feathers. Or you could do another fabric. That's fine too. What we're going to do is take this, wrap it around. We want to make sure that the part where you're adjusting or where the seam is, is going to be towards the bottom. So when it sits down, your seam is underneath here. I'm letting that overlap a little bit. And then I'm gonna cut right here. Right, that's, that looks nice. Press firmly, wait a few seconds until it's dried. And voila. I started a hole on the side in the, in the base of this light bulb with the drill. Then I'm going to continue with my awl and a hammer, real gently. This is actually almost all the way through. Perfect. Then I take my wire, insert it right here. and gently twist it.
The light bulbs that we're using for this project, you do not need to clean out. This is so, 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 so simple. We'll be using a lot of glue sticks, a bunch of twine, and this is actually a little bit of a fine stem that I cut up, and I'll be using that for uh, the area right here for the pear, okay? I'm gonna start at the top right here. Some glue. Hold it into place for one second and then begin your wrapping around. Just remember to go slow, take it easy, and be really cognizant of squinching down the twine as you go along so it's not leaving any spaces. It's super, super close to each other. This last one, we're just measuring the circumference of the lip of the light bulb. That's even. Looks pretty good. Now I'm going to do a knot. That's a really interesting finish. I'm going to lay that like so. I'm going to come back up and then wind around. And I'm going to bring this through the loop. Go on through there, and there you go. And I'm going to go back up here, and I'm going to pull this through. Like so. Okay. And now you can have the choice of oh, it nice and snug. Snap that up. Now what I'll do is cut this off right here. I'll take a little super glue first and I'll actually maybe I'll just take, um, what do I have with me here? I have a little glue. I'll take this glue right here. I'm just gonna snug that in right there. So it stays in. And I'm gonna do the same down here as well. Open that up a little bit, like so. Perfect. And now we can cut this off. And we can cut this one off too. There we go. And you're also going to want to cut these as well. There we go. Mm -hmm. and that's a nice finish to a knot, right? Isn't that pretty? Let's go hang it up. Z 
Steve and I would like to thank you very much for joining us. Have an amazing day and here's to your bright future.